This year uh, Trees for Life is celebrating its 25 years since it's, uh, it started and I'd like to see it just, just carry on the way it is. It's gone from like perhaps one person building a fence around a, a bit of woodland in Glen Affric to um, owning an estate that's 10,000 acres in size. We are the natural world, you are, I am, we're all part of it, we're all living beings. So not to conserve it would be, it'd be grossly unjust, you know what I mean? You're not conserving yourself then, you know, and if you look after yourself, you're going to look after the natural world. If you look after the natural world, which is your whole environment from here, sitting in this room to outside that door 10 metres to a thousand metres to a, a thousand miles beyond, it's we are the natural world, you know, and you need to conserve that, I need to conserve that, and everybody has to play a part at some point in their life, even if it's one week of your life. Every time I come back, it's like a, a piece of a jigsaw is being completed by me. And I get such a buzz of going back to a spot which I've worked on before and seeing it flourish. I was lucky enough to do it this time. Each week that I do here achieves the aim or helps to achieve the aim of increasing the, the forest until it's um, back to its original size. That will take a few years, probably beyond my lifetime, but we're getting there. Everybody should do something like go join Trees for Life just for a week and it will give you a hell of an insight into what we're doing wrong and hopefully at the end of that you can do something that's right.